Hey everybody, welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. My name's Kevin and uh, this is my guard dog, Daisy. She stays out here with our Spanish and Kiko goats. She's actually a livestock guardian dog. She's an Anatolian. And if you guys have been following any of our videos on the series of building the feed bunk out here in the goat barn, um, this is the last step that we're gonna do today. And that is building a gate over here on the end of the feed bunk. I'll show you guys here in just a minute. But it's gonna be a little bit of a special gate because we're gonna to try to put a triangle in there. And that is a form of access for dogs to be able to jump through this gate to get to a certain area or whatever reason you need them to get through. But it's supposed to keep the goats out. Now that's gonna be the real trick. Anybody out there that knows anything about goats knows they're not really stupid animals and uh, they're not really cowards. So they'll pretty much try anything. Um, if you guys follow us in some of our older videos, these things will climb up in trees. Um, if a big Oklahoma storm comes through and knocks some of our big oak trees down or anything, sometimes that thing will be laying like this. And those goats are not scared. They'll climb all the way up. They'll be 40, 50 foot high in the air and they don't even care. Um, I had a bunch of brush piles and those things were piled up high. And those goats were always up in there climbing around and just being nosy. So I'm really eager to try this jump gate because the main reason we're gonna be doing it is when you go to feed our dogs, usually the goats, these goats in particular, I got a few goats in here. This goat right here, one sock and Tawny. Whenever I feed Daisy, they're always so nosy. They, they're always starving to death is what they act like. They try to eat her food. So she has to fend off the goats and able to uh, eat her food. So that is why we're gonna be building this jump gate behind the feed bunk. That way I can, uh, I got a goat now trying to knock my camera over. Tony, leave stuff alone. <laughs> so I wanna build this jump gate on the end of this feed bunk. Let me show you real quick. And what this should allow me to do is to feed my dog back here behind where I feed the goats. That way the goats can't get in there and she can come in there. I'm gonna build her a little uh, place to sleep. If she wants to sleep in there, she can kind of get away from the goats. So my idea is to build it right here. In the last video, I asked you guys, should I put the gate long ways right here or should I make a shorter gate and cut, kind of brace this feed bunk off a little better by going to the wall? And most of you said to go ahead and go to the wall. It'll make it a little stouter. And I think that's a good idea because I don't want a uh, real wide gate right here because I am wanting the speed bump to act as kind of an alleyway as well. If we ever need to load the goats, I can back the stock trailer right up to that door. So what I'm gonna be doing today is, I'm gonna try to build a gate first, and then from there, I will try to build the triangle for the jump gate. I'm not really certain how big I need to go or how high off the ground it needs to be. So stay tuned for today's video, and let's see what we can get done on this jump gate. And then as soon as we're done, we're gonna see if it works.
Okay, so I got the hinges on. I got the main part of the uh, frame of the gate. Now I'm going to start putting my uh, horizontal slats on there just like this. I was going to try to go vertical, but I changed my mind. I'm just going to keep it all the same. I'm going to go ahead and build out the gate, all the framework and all the slats. And then I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to put the uh, triangle in for the jump gate. And I've already broke off several of these bits. Uh, can't get the focus. But I've already broke off several of these smaller bits. Whenever you're putting screws in this oak and it torques it down, man, it just uh, it torques that bit and it just rips the head right off. Okay, so I got the first two horizontal slats cut. And I'm going to go ahead and follow the color pattern that I got, the red oak and the white oak vice versa and that leads me to a point the other day when i built the other gate in the video i had a lot of experts tell me i've never seen a gate built like that you should have did it this way you should have did it that way and that's what's cool about youtube uh, you do it the way you want it's youtube it's your channel it's your video you do what you want whatever works um when you come to think about it what's three plus three and what's five plus one it don't matter how you get there it just matters that it works in the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna build this just like I did the other day. It works easier for me, especially since I'm out here by myself. I got some of these clamps here. I think I bought these on Amazon or Walmart. I can't remember for sure. But these little uh, clamps are kind of like little ratchet clamps and it actually helps a lot. It's like adding another set of hands to the project. So I'm gonna get busy building this thing. All right guys, I'm not gonna bore you with another gate video. As soon as I get these slats on here, I'll be back before we actually start on the jump hole. Okay guys, we got most of the framework on the gate done. Now it is time to start our V for the actual jump gate for the dog. And the way that most people design these are, they have the small opening at the bottom with the larger opening at the top, kind of like a triangle. And most of the measurements I found online was 10 inches at the bottom up to 20 inches at the top. Now that depends on the size of your dog and I haven't measured daisy or anything so I'm going to go ahead and go with the standard measurement that everybody's been using. 10 at the bottom, 20 at the top. I've already got my center line drawn. I got my 10 inch mark drawn and then my 20 inch mark drawn. So 5 inches on each side of center here, 10 inches each side over here. Now the idea is the dog will come up here and she will jump through here and hopefully the goats will come up here and they will not jump through here. Now, this is a prototype, sort of say, so if I need to adjust anything, I use screws, I still can. Um, if I need to add more slats, if I need to raise or lower anything, I went ahead and I pre-cut my first board. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the 10 and 20 mark. And then uh, we'll get some treats or some food or something and uh, kind of give it a try when Daisy gets up here just to see if she does. I don't know, I might put another slat right here because that looks like it's plenty of room for her to get through. Um, I'll go ahead and just put this up like it is and then we'll go from there. And I'm not gonna use any glue right now because, just in case.
Okay, yeah, I've got to go cut another board. Man, that looks a lot. That looks way too wide to me, but. We'll try it and see what happens. Okay, the jump gate is done, I think. It looks a little too big for me, but before I adjust it or change it, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna put the latch on, and then I got some uh, two by fours cut right here that I'm gonna put as stops back here behind this so it'll kinda stay tight, and that way the door will stop. And once I get these put on there, I'll put the latches on there and I'll know kinda where I need to be. But that's what it looks like. Um, I think it's 18 inches off the ground. I'll have to measure again. And uh, let me get this put on there and I'll go grab some snacks or something for Daisy and we'll see if this thing works. All right guys, so the other day, I put the same type of latch on the other gate that I built. That's just a little walkthrough gate. And a lot of people said, hey, you need to put that on the inside so the gate, so the goats won't open your gate. But this particular type of latch is actually made to go on the outside. You can't actually put it on the inside. But the nice thing about these are, they actually have a hole right here where you can put a pin, you can put a lock, and put whatever you want in there. And that keeps it, put a pin or something in there and then it can't go anywhere. So I think that's my, that might be what I do. Let's see here, get this thing leveled.
And looky here, I just broke another. Uh, just broke another one of these bits. Luckily, I got another one in my pocket. Now, I even tur turned the torque down on this Milwaukee drill. You can turn it all the way up to three, and I got it on two, but it still broke the bit. I guess you can say the screws are uh, made better than the bits, at least. Gonna tighten, tighten that one down too much until I get this last screw in there because I don't know if I have any more bits. Alright, let's make sure this thing works. Alright, so I got a few more screws. I got to finish putting uh, screws in some of these boards and then uh, I'll go get Daisy. Alright guys, so I got it all kind of beefed up, got a hot dog, and uh, Kai's out here with me now. Of course, as soon as I get the job done, somebody comes out here that could have been helping me. Look Daisy, you want a, hey, you want a hot dog? Daisy. Alright, come here girl. Alright, open that gate and take her in there. Go. Go in there, go ahead. Come on Daisy. Hey days. Oh, that didn't work out too good. Hey days. We'll open that gate over there and see if she'll come. We got two gates so we don't get stuck. It's on this side. Up. Up. Hurry. Hey days. Okay, close it. Good girl. Okay, now let's move out the gate. So she's stuck in here. Here, you go ahead and put it on her out. Okay. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Come on. Can you figure it out? Come here, Daisy. Hey, come here. Oh, let's see here. I'm gonna have to help her a few times. Come here, girl. Come here. Come on. Okay, get back. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Ty, get back. She's gotta figure it out. Eh. Eh. Get in there. Come on. Hey, look. Come on. Look, right here. Ha <laughs> Good girl. Come here. Here you go. Get your treat. You found out how. All right, guys. It worked. She fit through there just fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish off putting the horizontals right here because you seen she tried to stick her head through there at first because she wasn't quite sure. And then we'll work with her some more. All right. So we're trying it again real quick just to see what she does. Come all right, come here, you get in and get your treat. Daisy, come here and get your treat. Good girl, you're smart. All right, good girl. You gonna make your funny noise? Wait, listen. Nah, she didn't do it. Good girl. Well, there you go, guys. I think this is gonna work out. Here you go. Good girl. Yeah, I think Daisy approves. I went ahead and put two layers of boards right here where she actually puts her feet on. And I'll probably get the sander and I'll try to kind of smooth this out. It's not really rough or anything, but I'm going to take the corners off. You like these treats? <laughs> yeah, she's a good girl. So anyways, guys, um, if you have not checked out our other videos, building the feed bunk, um, all this lumber that we used to do this project, we milled off the trees off our own property with uh, keeping it Dutch's sawmill, the Norwood HD 36. And all this lumber, I guess you could say was free. Uh, 
right here from our property and it, that is an awesome feeling to be able to finish a project from start to end using nothing but lumber from your own place we didn't even have to go to the lumber yard or anything I did have to get screws from there but still it's a great feeling knowing that you can just cut a tree down and go mill it up same day you can start building a project so uh, she's wanting to get more treats so let's see if we can't get her trick I need to get a thumbnail for this anyways Come on, you want more treats? Come on. Come on. Good girl, here you go. All right, let's see if we can. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, girl. Let's see here. What do you think? Think it'll work, girl? I got a treat. All right, come on. Daisy, come. Come on. Daisy, come. Come on. Come on. You know how to do it. Come on. Come here. Come on. Remember? Come on. Come on. Come on, Daisy. You want to come? Come here. Come here. All right, let's set the camera up and see if I can get her. Come here, good girl. You're not in trouble. This is going to this is going to be your uh what do they call it? Not your safe space, but your uh your own space, I guess. I can't think of the word for it. It's where you can get away from these goats. Come on. Come on. Come here. Got more treats. Come on. All right, I'm going to walk over here and see what you do. Come on. Come on, Days. Come on. Come get your treat. Come on, Daisy. Daisy, no. No. Come on. Come on. Look, right here. Come on. Good girl. Hey, here you go. Hey, come get your treat. Come here. Daisy, come here. Come get your treat, girl. All right, let's go see. She, it's going to take a little bit for her to learn, but as you can see, she gets the uh, concept of it. Good girl. Girl, yeah. Oop, dropped it. Good girl. All right, guys. So uh, the project is pretty much done. I'm gonna say it's done. All I got left to do is to go back and draft some rebar behind these posts. Now that I got everything where I want it, and then it should be pretty stout. And the feeder's already working excellent. It's keeping me from getting trampled. And now, since Daisy can get in and out of there, I'm just, now I can actually just leave feed in there 24-7 for her so she can eat all she wants. Then I won't have to worry about feeding her every day. Just keep her feeder full. And then I might set up like a little bed or something in there for her to where she can sleep in there. Or if she just wants to get away from the goats or needs her own space. Right? She's a good girl. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't checked out our other feed bunk build videos um check out the playlist at the end of this video and you can go to our channel look at our playlist it should be under sawmill or under goats i can't remember which one but uh, if you're not subscribed please subscribe leave a comment like this video and we'll see you next time